I think Margot's pretty nervous. She really wants to fit in. I think everybody can relate to having their lives disrupted. And this is happening for Agnes, Edith, oh. and Margot. Oh. And that's one of the balancing acts in the movie, what to dedicate to each of those little stories so we really feel like we're serving, you know, all of these characters. This is my daughter Margot. Being a kid who moved when I was 15 years old, that is one of those big traumatic events that you can identify. You want to carpool with us? That was painful. I think it's really important to be human and to be silly and to mess up and to be a dad who embarrasses your kids or is awkward or be a kid and to have that angst. Oh. It's just kind of like crazy when I think about it. People watching the first Despicable Me and now they have their own kids. <laughs> Sometimes kids will ask me to try to say lines from the movie. Yeah, sure. Actually, they usually ask me to do minion, like a minion voice. They're so cute. See, bus. Banana. <laughs> Nailed it. Hello, everybody. Drew, what's up? Wait a minute. Three girls, one wife. Something is missing. This guy. Oh, there's my boy. I know you love your dada. Go on, say it. Dada. Dada. Yes, of course he loves you. He just, he just doesn't show it on his face. Or with his body language. <laughs> right, Gru Jr., come on. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxime Lebal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, group. <laughs> we have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor machine! Oh. I love this place! <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, 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 look up. Ouch! <laughs> <my arm>. <laughs> <laughs> the most important part of a heist oh, is being aware of potential dangers. <laughs> I tried myself! Fire in the ball! 